Today we're going to be demonstrating uh, the sacrum x-ray and also the coccyx x-rays. These are routinely done together. Uh, they are separate exams uh, and actually will count as two comps, but we do uh, them routinely together. So uh, when I demonstrate today, I'm going to demonstrate the sacrum, uh, the AP axial view of it, and then I'm also going to demonstrate uh, the coccyx, the AP coccyx, and then I'll demonstrate the laterals. The film size for all of these is going to be 10 by 12, and it will be lengthwise. Uh, for the sacrum, how we're going to start out with it is the angle, uh, the tube, 15 degrees, cephalad. Uh, for me, an easy way to remember is the sacrum is higher in the body, so you angle more, so 15 degrees. When we do the coccyx, you're going to, it's, it's lower in the body, so it's a little bit less than the sacrum. You angle 10 degrees down. That's just a little tip, maybe help you remember which the angles are. So we're going to, we've angled 15 degrees. We are centered to our film. We're not going to be able to shield on these. So what we're going to do here is we're going to palpate the as is, and the, the bond trigger will tell you that the centering is between the symphysis and the as is. Well, the symphysis and the as is is approximately four inches apart. So if we palpate the as is, and we go about two inches down, and then we're going to go to uh, the midline, the MSB, we collimate in a little. As far as collimation goes. Uh, or collimate uh, to the hour, but all borders up and down, and then about four or five inches wide. And this marker placement, we can put it there to the side. Now, this should include the entire sacrum uh, and also the SI joints. And technical factors again is 77 uh, to 81 kV and center cell. And so this will be our AP sacrum. Now, what we're going to take, we will, of course, change films. We are going to angle the tube now 10 degrees, cotton. And then we're going to recenter to our film, making sure that we are still center locked. Okay. Now the centering actually is, is, is very similar. It's actually the same. You're going to palpate the as is. It tells you, uh, bond trigger tells you to come two inches up from the symphysis. Well, as I previously told you, uh, it's approximately four inches from the as is to the symphysis. So the same centering would be. Uh, for both. So we're going to palpate the as is. We're going to go down about two inches. We're going to center to the MSP. Collimation remains the same. You can again use your marker placement in the light field as long as it's not obstructing. And this will be our AP coccyx view. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate the lateral. Film styles will remain the same. It's 10 by 12 and again it's lengthwise. You want to remember to take your angle off, and you also want to remember to recenter to your film. Now we're going to have the patient to roll onto their left side for us. You want to make sure that the patient is in a good true lateral position. I'm just going to make a few adjustments here. Okay, I want to make sure that he is in a good true lateral position. And we can shield anteriorly on this. Just placing the shield here in front of the patient. Okay. Now we're going to, as far as if we're doing the sacrum, our centering for the sacrum is going to be uh, patient in a good true lateral. We're going to palpate the as is. I'm going to palpate the as is, and we're going to go about three to four inches posterior to the as is. Okay, that's going to be our centering. As far as marker placement, place the marker toward the front in the corner uh, of the light field. Now one thing we can use is a lead blocker and what that does, it actually helps to absorb some of the scatter radiation uh, and helps to keep the film from being so gray. Technical factors for this do go up a little bit. Technique's going to be somewhere around 81 to 85 kV. Now the changes we make for a coccyx is we still take and palpate the as is. We go three to four inches back. From this point, we're going to go down two inches. That will be our centering. And then we'll adjust our marker so it still is in the light field. We'll still use our lead blocker. The technical factors will remain the same, 81 to 85 kV. And then this will be our view of our coccyx. Now most places do want to include both. So what we can do as far as our centering 
is we're going to actually palpate the as is again and we'll start with palpating from the as is and instead of going straight back we'll go well we will go straight back from that point it's actually only going to be one inch down so the one inch down will actually include both the sacrum and the coccyx you do want to make sure the collimation is uh, to the IR borders lengthwise because we are going to try and, we are trying to see both sacrum and coccyx the technical factors will remain the same 81 to 85 uh, kV uh, and it will be center cell and automatic exposure control. We still use the lead blocker and we still have shielding to the front of the patient. And this is our sacrum and coccyx uh, 